Hi everybody, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the Jada Blossom mini beach release. And this is my second project of the day. So I'm using the Gnome Dyes Beach add-ons along with the um, Ahoy Nomi stamp set and outline dies. There we go. And I'm also using our octagon dies, the stitched rectangle dies along with the scalloped rectangle dies and the tickled pink stamp set. And then our Gnome Dyes, of course. And I'm using Doodlebug Seaside Summer six inch pad along with their matching odds and ends. And then this is my little gnome that I already put together on the, real, on the assembly. So you can check out the Gnome Dyes um, Beach Add-ons assembly video. Okay, first of all, this is a piece of paper train white cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. I'm working on a Stampin' Up pad as per usual. And I have some paper cut. So this paper, the patterns are from that uh, Doodlebug six inch Seaside Summer. So I have a one inch strip, that's the blue. And then I have a three quarters of an inch strip of Nina Desert Storm 80 pound cardstock. And then I have a three quarters of an inch strip of this cute little flamingo pattern. There we go. And then I'm going to trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. There you go. And then I'm taking this stamp set, Tickled Pink. I'm going, going to use my Misty and I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the inside. Um, with First Fine Clair Nocturne ink. And there we go. So I'm pulling out my little sentiment. This is an adorable sentiment set. I love it. There we go. And I'm just going to use my um, Simon Says Stamp Acetate Sheet to line things up. And then I'm going to stamp it. So you see that I have a little piece of ephemera there from the Seaside Summer um, ephemera or odds and ends kit and I decided to go with that one instead of those two flamingos that you can see on my right. So birthday wishes and flamingo kisses is the sentiment which I think is super cute. There we go and I like to try and get my inside of my card done before I create my outside just so I don't have to do any fancy stamping around you know dimension that I have on the front of the card stuff like that so I'm just sticking down this little flamingo floaty with some barely art glue and I'm going to rescore that line so first of all I have um let me see this is a scalloped rectangle that is four and three eighths by five and seven eighths and that was cut with these scalloped rectangle dies and that pattern paper there is from Doodlebug and it's called Pistachio Gingham Linen. I'm using the gingham side. There we go. And then I cut a piece of that cute flamingo paper from that same Seaside Stemmer pad and that is cut at three and three quarters by five inches using our stitched rectangle die. And I'm just going to stick that down with my ATG gun again, ATG tape. Isn't that cute? I love all the little flamingos. Just trying to get it as straight as I can. There we go. And I'm just going to use my Teflon bone folder to make sure it sticks down really well. And I went ahead and I cut out um, an octagon die and I used the opposite side of that gingham linen paper, the pistachio from Doodlebug, and that's three by four inches. There we go. I'm putting it to sort of towards the top of the card and I'm using the sentiment Hello Summer on this. That was stamped in Verse Fine Claire Nocturne ink onto Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop up this little sentiment on the bottom of the center of the card, you know. You know I love the dimension and I love Stampin' Up Dimensionals. They're kind of my thing. There we are. And I'm just going to use my, my um, reverse tweezers just to hold on to that so I can sort of get it straight. There you go. So my little gnome was put together with gingham linen. I also used Doodlebug's dot stripe for the flamingo. I used um, paper tray ink black, paper tray ink happy harvest cardstock, American crafts brown cardstock, and P13 stamping pad skin tones for the skin. And you know, I also used a secure white jelly roll pen to add some highlights, you know, kind of my thing. And I, did I mention the brown cardstock from, Amer from American crafts? 
can't remember, but I did use that as well. And you can watch me put this little guy together on the Doodlebug Gnome Dye, or not Doodlebug, on the Jada Blossom Gnome Dyes Beach Assembly uh, video, Beach Add-ons Assembly video. So now I'm pulling out um, Doodlebug's Matte Sprinkles Tropical Assortment, and I'm going to use just three of them. And there you go, like pretty handy. I'm pulling out that Secure White Jelly Roll pen again in a number 10. I'll add a few more little highlights to the inside of this little guy. And I'm just actually color, sort of coloring over their own highlights. I just like to make them whiter. So there we go. I'm just going to quickly use that nice white pen and add a few little highlights to my little floater or my little floaty, <laughs> floaty flamingo on the inside. He's so cute. So remember, you can check out the uh, Gnome Dyes Beach add-ons assembly video. Um, you might want to get shopping over at the Jada Blossom, you know, store. Check out the Jada Blossom blog to be inspired. Um, there's a release and review that went live today. You can check out over on the YouTube site. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon in my next video. Bye everybody.